Brilliant. <laughs> Welcome to the very first episode of the 19th hole. In this first episode, we're going to take a look at our top five courses that we've played this year. Yep. We're going to introduce a new segment called the Signature Hole Series. That's one of your little babies, so yep. He's one of my little babies. And we're going to watch that clip one more time because it's funny. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> you make such good contact. <laughs> right the right there. The <laughs> That's a classic. Perfect. So number five on our list this year is the Robe Golf Course. This yep. is when Damien was recovering from his heart surgery. Yep. I took the family over to South Australia for a holiday and I couldn't resist heading out onto the course there. And boy am I glad I did. It's couldn't resist ringing me at 8.30 in the morning and tell me all about it either. <laughs> it is magnificent. Like it's... I love that it's unique in that it has the, the different six, like three or six different holes. Yep. Um, you've got the, like the, the ones by the town side, you've got the ones by the beach and the dunes and that. They're just really beautiful to look at, yeah. some really great layouts, some great scenery too, like yeah. on the ocean, it's just a fantastic course. Yeah, it looked, it looked, um, looked like you had a bit of fun out there. I would not recommend carrying a tripod around with you during <laughs> all your film, because that was exhausting. Yes. Um, that was the, uh, the the decision to make to get the uh, DJI there. <laughs> yeah, we bought a new camera on the back of that because our, our first camera was a bit heavy, but yeah, it, absolutely fantastic course. Number four, Mandalay at Club Mandalay. Yep. Um, it's up there at Beveridge, just north of Wallen. Um, this course is mint. It is manicured, it is undulating. The fairway, the greens are just... In, it's in mint condition. Even the bunkers are probably some of the best bunkers yeah. that we've, I've played out of this year. And you play um, a lot of them too. And I, I play a lot. I tend to find sand. <laughs> um, and they, it was unbelievable. It's a long course. Definitely one to get a cart with yep. because there are some holes there that are... It's a bit of a travel in between the two. It's built around an estate. So when if you actually, if you haven't played there before, if you go and play there, you realise after about yeah, five holes, you go, okay, I'm going to hit houses today. <laughs> <laughs> and one of one of our good friends at the Treadham family, uh, Aussie Joe, um, he plays out there. It's a tone course, so yep. um, it's a shame that we didn't uh, meet up at the time. But yeah, I'd love to play around with him soon. Yeah, no, that's it. Number three on the list is one of our very very favourites <sighs> from is. a long time ago, the Marysville yep. Golf Course. Yeah, we've been I've been going there for a long time. We've been playing there since we were 10, 11. Yeah, it is beautiful, and we yep. were so lucky. It was just after lockdown finished yep. in Melbourne, and. The course was perfect because no one had been on it for ages. It, it was, was sunny, there quiet. was no wind. No it one was, there. It, yeah. it is so beautiful the way that it's it's surrounded by the mountains, but it's yeah. um the greens are lush, the fairways are lush. There's a river that runs all the yeah. way through, so you, you've actually got heaps of holes that over, you know, you've got to cross the, the, well, the creek, um, the Akron River there, just to, to hit, you know, at it. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. unbelievable. And, and I got to try the drone for the very first time you there, did, which you was were, so much fun. You were as excited as a dog with two tails that day. <laughs> so. I've never heard that before. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it was so much fun throwing it up above the trees and getting some beautiful shots, but um, fantastic yeah, course. Yeah, nah, it definitely was. Love I'd, the Marysville Golf Course. Yeah, Marysville, um, Marysville. So we'll stop the camp there for a second there, and we're going to introduce a brand new segment that we're calling the Signature Hole Series. Yep. We had a request to sort of go out on course and... and and talk you through a hole that we play on. So we decided to pick our, our favourite hole of the course that we're playing on, yep. or we asked the club to say, well, which one's the, do you think you see your hole in the course? Yeah. So tonight's, or today's episode, it's going to be the second hole at the Waddle Park Golf Course. Waddle Park, I'm glad you got that right. Yes, I want to say Waddle Glen, but it's Waddle Park. Waddle Park. It's a long downhill par five with the city skyline in the background. So let's check it out. So this is the very first episode of what we're calling our signature hole series. So today we're at the Waddle Park Golf Course. This is the, the second hole here. It's a relatively short downhill par five with nice views of the city skyline in the distance. So you stand this team, you look at this and think, well, I'll pull out a driver, I can put it right down there and put myself in a good spot to go at the green. But at the same time, got trees to the left and trees to the right. So what I might do is pull out my four iron and just knock it down the fairway and see if I can give myself a longer shot at the green, if not lay up for free. Let's go. So I've left myself about 234 meters into the green. Now, if I had a really good three wood, I could probably reach that green, but I've got trees to the left, like two big, two big trees to the left, and more trees out to the right. So I think I'm gonna play another four iron, knock it up there and see if I can give myself a little sandwich into the green. Beautiful, on the right 
inside of the fairway. Got a little sandwich in the way from there. So if anything, I'm probably giving myself a little bit too close a shot to the green instead of that awkward distance around sort of 30 to 40 meters into the green, which I'm not really good at. Um, probably should have gone maybe a six iron and give myself 80 to 90 meters in, but let's see how we go. So I've paid the penalty for being a bit too close to the green there. I've pushed my third shot onto the back of the green, but at least I've still got a putt for birdie. So that's the second hole at Waddle Park Golf Course. It's a future hole here. It's a really, really interesting par five. You can you can go from anywhere from scoring a 10 all the way down to a three if you're a reasonable golfer. It's got a lot of trees, it's very tight, but also it's very short, so it's an interesting little hole. I'm happy to get away with a par. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. So that was our very first signature hole. Yeah. It, it was really windy that day, so I couldn't get the yeah, drone was, right above it. That was a bit of disappointment, though. Yeah, I wanna, what I want to do is get the drone straight above the hole so you can see what I'm talking about with the layout, but mm. really interesting hole. Yeah, no, it's... Um, I, mean, I didn't play it the best, and I, I think I actually lost the ball on that. Yeah, just throwing it out to the right. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it didn't go went over the green. We just, I reckon someone picked it up. <laughs> I'm sure they did. <laughs> yeah. But no, it was. It's a. Yeah, it's an interesting hole. I would have gone a different tact. You played there before, so I'll listen to you. And um, I reckon if I pulled out a driver on a hot sunny day, that would have rolled nearly all the yeah, way exactly. down. Yeah, exactly. On a hot day, it's all the way down there. Yeah, for you getting a closer one. But no, nah, that's a. Yeah, it's Waddle Park. It's a nice little course. Yep. So let's get back to the top five courses. Number two, what have we got? Number two, Trentham. We stumbled on Trentham. We got told about it. It's a good little course. We was like, yeah, let's go out and have a look. We Google map things and have a look. Oh, it looks like it might have water on it. We were gobsmacked. I think it was two holes in and I turned to Trevor and I said, this joint is unbelievable. Yeah. Um, it was dewy. So we got there super early in the morning um, and there was no one around. We were able to get the drone up as the sun was coming up. It was, it was immaculate. There's water on it. It was, yeah. Yeah, we've got a long hole that runs next to the water, but for me it wasn't until we hit that par three where it's downhill and you've got the water at the bottom where I went and stopped and went, this yeah. is a really beautiful course yeah. to look at. Yeah. It's lush, there's trees. We, we got told that the, the actual, um, some of the trees have been knocked down from the stalls. Yeah, Boy, yeah, that, that was a bit of a, probably the only downer to, I mean, that's, and that's no fault of the course. No, that's just mother no. nature being mother nature. And, but I imagine how it would have been if, if yeah. the trees were still there. Yeah, there would have been some. Some of them you look at and go, yeah, there's definitely some overhanging. There used to be overhanging trees there. Yeah. Um, you can see with the way the grass patterns weren't there when you know because of the trees and that. So. Yeah, and but, it's also um, where we met one of our, another one of our good friends, Ivan Johnson. Yep. Who gave you that that dual coloured golf ball? Yeah, the dual coloured tricks. So yeah, you'll see that in videos from now on or from then on even. Um, so when, how long ago did we play Trenton? <laughs> well, back now. Yeah, well, if you're a keen-eyed support, supporter of ours, you probably would have gone, why do they keep showing this golf yeah, ball every so time? But now you know. Yeah, that's you know. why. Um, prior, it was uh, kind of funny, they weren't available in Australia at that stage. Um, and they are now, but I'm still not going to use it. It's actually glued in my buggy so it doesn't come out. <laughs> so, yeah, happy days on that one. But, uh, yeah, nah, all good. Number one on our list is the Growling Frog Growling Golf Frog, Course. Yep. That was the very first course we played this year. Yep. And it turned out to be the best. I mean, it wasn't like there was a clear-cut winner of the absolute no. best course by a mile. There was so many great courses we played, but the, the Growling Frog, it was like it was a perfect summer's day. Yeah, there's bugger all wind. The it greens was... are perfect. It's got the downhill slopes, the yeah. kangaroos. It just fantastic. And it was a, it's a true championship links course. Oh. Uh, it was, yeah, it was incredible to play and. To play it at that, and like we, we spoke to one of the groundskeepers there, and he says, yeah, no, we, they're lucky enough to get re reclaimed water on that course. Oh, just and um, apparently it can get boggy during winter, but we, during summer, he said, no, it's the best it's been in a long time, and I could see why. It was like, an it absolutely was, fantastic yeah. course. And we had an absolute ball there that day. And no, Our only downside is we got stuck behind a really slow group and couldn't play the last hole. Yeah, well, <laughs> but on the positive side, I did reach a par five in two on that day. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and he still talks about it now. And we'll still talk about the eagle putt, though. That wasn't, that wasn't the best effort. <laughs> I'll find it, and I'll show you what the eagle putt was. <laughs> that was not the finest moment in golf <laughs> that day. 
But no, no, the Growling Frog, yeah, like it's one of those courses up in, uh, I, I call them the big three, you've got Hidden Valley, Mandalay, Growling Frog. Um, those three courses, if you want a, a quick, if you're in Melbourne, the northern suburbs of Melbourne, or something, get out and play these three courses, they are unbelievable, or every one of them. Yep. Um, you, you're not going to go wrong playing those courses, you're going to have an absolute ball on them. Yeah. We do have to say a thank you to my niece, Desiree, for giving us these Oh, shirts. yes, yeah, for Christmas. These are our Christmas shirts. So Merry Christmas, everyone out yeah. there, and pr whenever you're watching this. You probably should have done that at the start. But we That's forgot. all right. Everyone knows it's Christmas. They do, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, we've got some really cool stuff coming up soon that we want. We can't announce yet, but we want to yeah. make this channel uh, into be able to support a lot of charities. We want to be able yeah. to give away stuff to you guys. So the more subscribers we get, the more we can give back. So like, the very first thing we're doing is giving away the TaylorMade SimMax yes. 2 driver. Which we're very, very close to doing. We got we need a thousand subs to get that. We're only 146 off, I think. Yeah, so we're so close to that. We want to give away more and more and more. So the more subs we get, the more we can give back. Yep. We've got some really great events planned coming up soon, which we'll talk yeah. about in the next couple of episodes. We've got a of, massive, massive events. We're gonna we've got a massive idea for an event. We just don't know how it's gonna work out yet. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have heaps, heaps more charity events. So we can't wait to yep. do those. And we um, want to try and go live more as well. Yeah. Um, we're out on the course. We might just play a whole live and say hello and uh, get a few people watching there. Maybe you've comments on that as well. Um, but yeah, now we've got some big, big plans this year. Or yep. next year, sorry, next year, 2022. <laughs> yeah. And we're very excited to announce that we are officially full time on Treadham now. We are. So we'll be releasing, uh, from a couple of weeks' time, we'll be releasing two videos a week. So this, video, this show will move to a Thursday. Yep. And Tuesdays will be our normal course reviews, ball reviews, that sort of thing. Yep. And we hope to find more funny clips for our shows. And more videos of Trevor Snapping Clubs. Don't know if you saw that, but it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he, done, he cracked it after one bad drive, and that driver had done nothing wrong. It just decided it had to I get did, I did like that driver very much. So yep, yep, that's what I made it even funnier. <laughs> I think on that note, we'll end this show with me breaking that driver. Why not? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.